bought it for two twenty twenty five. Two twenty five. Yep. You're about fifty into it now, and you'll be in seventy five. Yep. You'll be all in three hundred. Three hundred. Uh, and then you're refinancing it. Yeah, refinance. Already started the process. Hoping that appraisal is going to wait two more weeks, so that yeah. way I can get it finished. But hopefully, the appraisal will come back at four, four ten, somewhere in there. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? This is Generation H. <laughs> Daryl forgot to do the karate shop, but that's all right. What happened? <laughs> We're Generation 5, okay? Generation. So, we did Carlos's house earlier today. Now we're at old Daryl's house in Richmond, Virginia. And it's a big boy right here. Yeah. And it's an expensive boy right here. <laughs> this is Richmond, right? Uh, yeah, Bon Air, bon Richmond, Air. And Chesterfield, right on the line. So uh, Daryl's gonna take us through it, and this yes. and this was a shit show, wasn't it, Daryl? Oh, I can't wait to show y'all the pictures. It was horrible looking. So this is the front now. You can actually see it. It was sky high with weeds and branches and vines and everything else. So now you can actually see. And then we got the old lion entranceway. This is the highlight of the whole house right here. We're that thing is that. sick. <laughs> so I'll take that. Here. This is concrete stone front. Refinished all, all of this. And then when you walk in, this was a disaster. It was filled to the ceiling with trash. I mean, once we show you what it looked like before, it was crazy. And then this was the second living room. Somehow they had this big of a house with two living rooms. One of them had a piano in it, and then this one was just filled to the ceiling with junk as well. Dylan came in this one. Yeah, we had a walkway of about a foot and a half. You know, this is panel through. Yeah, all of the wood paneling. We just all, kept all the interlock panel. This is good. This is cool stuff. So, uh, flooring. Give it a little different feature. So we're doing LVT flooring. Uh, unfortunately, I wish I could keep this hardwood, but... You're not saying it. You're not right now. No, no, we're not right now. We're just going to lay on top. Oh, yeah. And then we kind of switched some things around back here. It was, there was two closets already in here, so we got to flip flop and took the closet out to master bathroom. So we flip flopped everything around and we took out the closets in here. We put in a nice big tile shower. We're going to have a big 36 inch vanity right here. Put the toilet in the corner. Kind of redid the. Oh, the toilet design. is in the corner. Yeah. yeah. Right where I'm standing. Facing this way. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we're gonna yeah gonna that's hear, sweet. Hear not yet, so the, we'll have to move this just to hang yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. That was where it originally was. It was so in weird. the trim to where half the light switch was cut out and all you oh. could do. Yeah, so stupid. But when you walk this way, this was non-existent. There was a wall right here to where nothing. But they had a weird office from the other side that came here. So that was a wall. So you um, added so, this wall right here. So we added that wall to that the wall. Down. That's the hall. So on the other side of this is the laundry. It's the garage. The laundry is on La laundry's on this side. Oh, yeah. laundry. Yeah. yeah, this is the garage. So there was no laundry. There was no. The laundry was in the kitchen when we first bought it. So kitchen. this was no. this this was like a weird office space, and it was this whole thing. So you know where the laundry room is on the other side? All of this was wide open, and this doorway wasn't here. So we cut the doorway out. Now yeah. it'll just be an office for the master bedroom. Yeah. So you're going to get a desk for it, right? So I'll get a desk and put it in here. you got two nice windows, good light. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a nice little office for someone's bed in there. What would you get this one for, Daryl? Ah, so we paid two twenty five dollars for this house. Two twenty five. dollars Yeah, two twenty five, dollars And we actually, right now, we're about 50 into it. We'll be about 75 when I'm completely done. So all in for right at 300 dollars Sweet. And what do you plan on doing with it? You uh, sell so I'm it? I'm going to Airbnb this house. So okay. I'm going to set it up to be a nice short-term rental. Hell yeah. And that's why you're making that an office. So that's why I'm making that an office. When Instead I decide of a closet. to sell, it'll yeah. be a closet. You can just put the shack racks and fill it up. This is the living room area. This was a disaster when I got it. It was the built-in bookshelves. I didn't even know they were there until we completely oh, cleaned it out. Oh, you couldn't see it? Oh, you couldn't see that at all. They were brown and there was clothes piled on top of them. Yeah, and the same with these. 
these were filled with old plates and everything, and then sheets and everything covered. Right. I didn't even know they were here. Yeah. Wait, once we got to clear it out, we found out that there's a nice art with a nice so shelf. How did you account for you not knowing, seeing what you were getting yourself into? So I'm not going to lie. Five years ago, Daryl would have never bought this house. Because you, you couldn't tell what yeah. this was. Like, I, I was keeping my fingers crossed when I was coming through here, thinking, hoping that it wasn't this. Yeah, you could have easily just had a hole. Oh, it could have been rotted subfloor. Yeah, it could have yeah. been rotted floor yeah. joists in the whole house. But we got lucky, and there was only three rotted floor joists, and the only subfloor that was rotted was the kitchen. Kitchen, and then we replaced the subfloor in one bathroom. The, the other bathroom was perfect. I feel like those kind of things you do. Those are normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can totally predict or like. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done a kitchen or a bathroom that didn't have rods. So yeah. yeah. They, literally every house I've come to. I mean, that's how we buy our houses. Yeah. So, and then in here. Oh, man. I'm going to send you the video so you all can yeah. see the video. Yeah. This was a disaster. It was filled trash to the sea. The whole house. I mean, I'm 12 dumpsters in, and I still probably need one more. <laughs> that's how crazy. 12 dumpsters. 12 dumpsters. So out of everything that I could have accounted for, I didn't expect to spend five grand on dumpsters. That's what I mean. I spent five thousand dollars on dumpsters. Wow! Yeah. You probably could have bought a dumpster and hired somebody. I got one. Oh, <laughs> shit! Could have pulled Carlos. Yeah. 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 So this would be the new kitchen. Put it on the peninsula. Redid all the cabinets. Reconfigured them because it was a giant. This is where the laundry room was. So it was a boiler, a laundry room, and electrical panel. All because this wall came out to here. And it was straight across. So the kitchen was only this, this little piece, and that was it. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember it even came, I, I wish you could still see, but it actually had another closet on this side to come in. This whole part right here was another closet that you came in, which was a pantry. Oh, it was no cabinet space at all. So it was the weirdest layout I've ever seen. And I wish I could have taken out this wall, but this is right where the fireplace is. Yeah, so you had to knock down the... Knocking that out. And then this side, pretty pointless to take that out. Yeah. You're getting a hang off uh, right yeah, here so with I'll the have counter. A 12, 12 inch, so that way people can have an eat in kitchen. Chairs. And yeah. I'll have a dining room so that people can eat in the dining room. Yeah. And then all back here, we basically added all this and swapped. And you're putting a microwave up there or a range? Yeah, no, no, I'll have a microwave and then a stove okay. right here. Yep, and then refrigerator right there. And then when you come down here, none of this ever existed. So all of this was wide open. It was wide open. It went all the way through to that master bedroom. So we walked oh, it off so, right yeah, here. This is the closet on the master bedroom. This was like the weird office. So the master's back here. Yeah, don't oh, Did your painters spray these? Yeah. Oh, dude. dude. Don't pay them. That's annoying as shit. Isn't that so annoying? Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, so we put in a recessed light in here because we had to drop the ceiling in order to put the um, put the H duct work. Oh, the duct work up there. Yeah, so we have duct work run to here and put a hot water tank in this corner and then your washer dryer. Now you have a legit washer dryer. And this is concrete. This is concrete slab. Yeah. And you're going to do the same floor? You're just going to do a different kind of underlayment? I'll do a different type of underlayment, but the same floor. Yeah, we'll actually put Lou on or something. Oh, you're not going to put vinyl plank? In the no, no, we'll put vinyl uh, plank, but we just want to put something so that way it's not sitting right uh, on the concrete. Yeah. It'd be cold if too it's cold. sitting on the concrete. Too cold. Yeah. So, then we'll put two steps or one step to come up to this. Two steps. Yeah. Carlos dancing. Yeah. <laughs> and then back here, don't, uh, this is the work in progress. But we got the giant patio set up. So we got is that new? That's, that's yeah, a new concrete. Yeah, it's all concrete. I was looking at a deck, a deck from right there where the door was to right here. Same really? $3,800. How thick is this concrete? A foot? Uh, it's four inches, four inches thick? No. Three inches? Oh, four inches. cool. They, they yeah, sit it up. So, so there was a little concrete pad. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there was. pad on this side, and then that side was all, you know, beat up. So. But uh, it's about three, what, three, four inches? Of, yeah. It's about three or four inches concrete. And then concrete. 
How much did you say? Twenty eight hundred for uh, pouring. Yeah, twenty eight hundred. siding on this whole back side and then all these windows the back windows the front windows were vinyl back windows all were green we Oh, you still have a car back there? So I got a guy coming to pick that up. He's actually uh, giving me 200 bucks and coming and picking it up next week. So that way it'll be gone. 200? That's all you're getting? Yeah. I mean, it's not a very nice car. <laughs> yeah. It's an old school uh, Triumph. Yeah. Yeah. Really? They only go for 200? No, it doesn't have a motor or no. anything. So it's basically a parts car. Yeah, no transmission, no motor at all. And we've got a brand new H back in the whole house. That's, that's oh, that's nice. Isn't it crazy that they rain the stonework all the way around the whole house? That's nice. Yeah, it's nice. So you can't really see it until I get all this cut. I guess you'll have that crawl space door. Yeah. Oh, dude, I saw a gopher at Ashland crawl into my cross, uh, go into my crawl dude, space. Do we have gophers here? I found two of them underneath the shed. Dude, you need to seal that up. They'll go under your house. And... Yeah, I'm plugging the foundation. Yeah, this is probably all poison ivy. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> so that's um, the new HVAC. Yeah. You already had the existing ductwork. I didn't have any ductwork. Oh, yeah. so you ran all, all new, new ductwork. I have HVAC and everything. Yeah, I've had oh, no ductwork. What, that's what, a three and a half ton unit? Yeah, three and a half ton. Yep. Uh, for all the ductwork in this whole house, I think it was 600. For the unit and ductwork. Yeah, so it's going to be a giant. I'm going to stack this. 38, you said? Oh. Um, Oh, I was gonna say. Thirty-eight hundred is barely a. That ain't even a swap out of a two. I know. That's what I was saying. I thought you said thirty-eight. Yeah. So I can't wait though, because I'm gonna set this huge patio set up here. We have nice patio furniture. Oh, you got more concrete here. Yeah, I got more concrete there too. Yeah. That's where I'm gonna put the grill and everything is back here. Right here. Oh, so this is the. Yeah, this is the whole giant tub. So this is what you're dividing. You can't build a house. Probably could. I just haven't tried. Is it a separate lot? It's not a separate lot. It's not a separate lot. It's a development. I'm, I'm trying to build it. Dude, I'd say you just finish that and make that a tiny house. <laughs> yeah. The goal is to. That is pretty that big. Is pretty you could make. Size, you right? could make that a, a living space. So that's the goal is to put up a fence back here. We'll put up a fence, divide it, and then now you have a separate. He needs to put a cord on that basketball yeah, court. Put a basketball court back there. On the slab. That's perfect. Uh, There's no cracks in it, dude. Yeah, it's a perfect slab. So. Yeah. Or pickleball giant, court. Giant backyard, right? <laughs> this is enormous, yeah. Yeah, it has a giant setup. The whole front yard is this size and the backyard is huge too back there. And yeah. this thing is filled with equipment. I mean, y'all, we had kayaks, boats. We had all kinds and of that's stuff. That's the dumpsters. Oh, they were all The 12 junk. dumpsters. Yeah, 12 dumpsters. And you can see there's still a little bit of stuff here that we haven't gotten to throw away, like these two trailers and stuff. That lawnmower and stuff like that. But it came with the dumpster, so now I gotta learn what to do. I'm gonna spray paint it and put my logo on it somewhere and bring it from house to house. Because the they guy bought it. I just don't know who to pick it up and drop it off and put it up. Yeah. Yeah, just call City Rubbish. Yeah, that's what I was there. I was there for like a week. Oh, I see. Dude, so he bought it and then they went uh, what's business. The, no. so. What's his name, Cam? Yeah. I told him he can't do it. He can't do it. So I just told him that he can't do it. Uh, if he had a pool, uh, I think he would. Wide. Yeah. Dumpster's too wide? Uh, he's got the nah, dumpsters he has that a he pulls. It just doesn't. Oh, yeah. I got a Dodge, though. Come on. And then I got yeah. lucky. I didn't have to replace the roof. The roof was is only eight years old. I replace all the doors. That was a big double. I 
siding too, so they can probably tie. Yeah, do the siding and everything too. Sweet. Yeah. All right. So you've had it for how long now? Uh, I've had this for four and some change months. Yeah, it's going right. on five months. All right, so four and a half, five months. Yep. You bought it for two twenty five. Two twenty five. Yep. You're about fifty into it now, and you'll be in seventy five. Yep. You'll be all in three hundred. Three hundred. Uh, and then you're refinancing it. Yeah, refinance. Already started the process. Hoping that appraisal can wait two more weeks, so that yeah. way I can get it finished. But hopefully, the appraisal will come back at four, four ten, somewhere in there. Yeah. Okay. I got comps that put me at four twenty, so I'm pretty conservative with so two hundred. Four to four twenty, and then you'll pull most of your money. If yeah. not all of your money out at that yep, point. Pull all of my money back out, and then I'll probably have a little bit left in because the last time I did a refi, they were only doing seventy percent loan to value. Oh. So I might have to leave. Yeah, yeah. Fifteen, twenty thousand. because yeah, you're only doing seventy percent on this one too. Yeah, seventy percent on this one. Unless yeah. they'll give me seventy five, then I'll do it. But yeah. yeah, they didn't let me do it on the last one. So fifteen thousand, and then you're going to be staging because you're going to make this. And then I'll furnish it for ten to twelve thousand. Ten to twelve thousand. Yep. So then you'll. I'll have be 20, maybe in like 25 30 25 30,000 into yep. it and then you you're thinking you'll be cash flowing what so if i rented it normal yeah. then it would rent for 2800 i'd cash flow about 6 7000 but you won't but I'm spend the Airbnb, extra 12 to 15 but i wouldn't spend right so you'd only 15. be like 15 into it yeah. and you'd cash flow 600 about 600 bucks okay. a month so i'm hoping that if i do furnish it should bring in and close to four to five thousand dollars a month. Gross. Uh, no. Gross. Yeah, yeah oh, gross. gross. And gross. then after all expenses, probably looking at twelve to eighteen hundred a month. Okay. Somewhere in there. So let's call it fifteen. Yeah. So fifteen times twelve, that's eighteen thousand, and you leave like thirty into it. Yeah. So a year yeah, and a half. That return. Back, sure. Yeah, back to even in a year and a half. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I don't think I'll have any problem because I have a couple of friends that have a house down the street and they rent for two eighty a night. Yeah. And theirs isn't gonna be set up like this it's just a normal well you have coco and hazel right around the corner exactly. so that's you know <laughs> that's a plus right that's a plus that's yeah. a plus we got restaurants i mean you can walk to everything from here yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah so it is a good spot so when you were yeah. working on it was there any unexpected things or kind of renovation went no there was a lot smooth. of unexpected things i didn't think that it was gonna the trash was gonna take this long i mean we're at three months of just straight trash cleanup it took me it took me a month and a half to get it to where i could actually work on the house it was a wow. month and a half before I could even start on the house, just because there was so much trash. I paid, I paid seven thousand dollars for trash removal and dumpsters. <laughs> That's how crazy. No, I'm getting tired. Yeah. No, nah, I'm just trying to be smart. <laughs> you gotta yeah. sit it on something, man. But seven thousand dollars in trash and dumpsters. That's a great way to start my week. All right, yeah. so that was the big expense. It was. Uh, that was my unexpected. unexpected. Was trash clean. Well, you knew it was gonna be expensive. I knew it was gonna be expensive. But like, but you didn't know twelve. I was thinking three million. or four thousand, not yeah. seven thousand. And I still got friendly enough to bounce it to show it to him. I didn't let him know. Yeah. But he he came out with it. But once I cleaned up his yard, the other, uh, uh, the other unexpected, I would say actually it all went pretty smoothly. Other than that, it was better than I expected actually. Yeah. Because yeah. once I got all the trash out, it wasn't as torn up as I thought yeah. it would be. Yeah. I thought a lot of the floor sub floor. Joys. I didn't know. Yeah. And then underneath of the house, the underneath of the house was surprisingly nice. I think the unexpected may have been the wiring. The wiring was kind of uh, jacked yeah, up. Yeah, you did mention that. Yeah. But it wasn't. It could have been way worse. So the plumbing was all good. It, some of it was changed to PEX and some wasn't. So we yeah. switched all the water cast iron to PEX. Okay. And that was really it. And then you get this big ass lock. Yeah, you get this yeah. giant. So I'm, I'm excited to get it. You're planning on building on that lot or putting another little. Yeah, I'm um, hoping to put a tiny house. So I'll put a fence to divide it and then put a tiny house back there. And it'd be that one Airbnb too. that too. And then it can be a double Airbnb. So yeah. this would be pretty and cool. You're not going to refi it again with that. No, I won't. I'll just think out because I can get the shell to the house Airbnb or the tiny house for about 28000 And then to finish it, my contractor said probably fifteen grand. Sweet. So I can be all in for. Call it 50 once you do the driveway, a little path to the exactly. bank, a little 50. grill or something like yep. so they can do something. Yeah, so if you're all in for 50 and it brings in two grand, thousand bucks a month, I feel like it's easy. definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah. And that's at 80 bucks a night, it still would bring in two grand a month. So you saying uh, 18 running plumbing and, and electric bill? Uh, yeah. yeah. 1800? No, 18,000. Oh. 18, yeah, to run plumbing, electric, and water. Yeah. It's 
he said it is doable to connect the plumbing. Uh, or you don't it is. Know. Uh, so he, that's the part that we're not sure how it would do it. But you know, it, the plumbing is going to be the trickier part, just because of the concrete slab. It's going to be very difficult to kind of pull that plumbing out of the way and not come straight to the plant. Is there? Would it be worth tapping into the city? Possibly. Tapping into? Or well, like, what is? Like, I mean, you just have to tap into the structure. Like, do, do you have? No, 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 no. Actually, Come on, we're being recorded. Permits and all that. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You couldn't well, secretly not tap, tap in. Yeah. But yeah, it might almost be better to just do a regular connect. Well, I would, I would try to figure out. Or if at I least the water and the sewer. If you can build on it, I would try to see if I run it. It costs more now, it but will. like, then you're like, all right, the infrastructure's already in. Let me go ahead and cash roll some money. Yeah, if you build exactly. on it, you could refi it separately. And refi it separately, and yeah. it actually has a separate, second asset. Yeah. Pull a loan against it. Pull a loan against yeah. it. And not do anything crazy. Just do a little 800 to 1,000 square foot rancher, nothing. Yeah. I mean, because you don't want something that's big here. This is an 800,000 square foot. Yeah. Something like that. And you could even maybe go up and get a little more square footage. Get yeah. closer to 1,400 if you went 700, 700. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it's a big enough lot to be able to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, it definitely looks like, what? It's bigger than the lots feet? in Richmond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, yeah. So it's, it's uh, if you go from here, it is uh, 75 feet. So if okay. I just put a single gate in here and put a fence right here, 75 foot to the end of there. All right, so each one of those is 12. Yeah. So 75, take out, yeah, so about 50. Yeah. You're about 50 feet wide. Yep. 50 foot wide by about like 200 foot. Yeah, wide. that's a lo that's a long lot. Yeah, it's a decent lot. Yeah. It's a decent lot. Yeah. yeah. Even sectioned off, it would still be a pretty decent lot. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well. Anything, any, else, anything Darryl? else, Daryl? Closing comments. Ah. I can't wait for y'all to see what it looked like before. Cause... Yeah. Oh, we are gonna we are gonna attach that. So. Yeah. So if you're sure. listening yeah. through podcasts when you get home. Stop driving, check it out on YouTube. Yeah. That's a good be point. Crazy. You probably should look at YouTube for yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at yeah. YouTube for Not Spotify. this property and for yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That way that way you can go to YouTube, check out your property and then this one. Yeah. 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 So sweet. Alright guys. Alright, well don't forget wow. to subscribe, hit that like button. Woo woo. Yeah. And this Generation is Generation Age.